Hello guys, welcome back. Now in today's video, I wanted to talk briefly about a system that most people are probably going to gloss over, uh, but I still want to make a video about it because it's very important and you might end up not knowing many things just because you didn't really went and click on this. I'm talking about the workbench. You will see it here. You can find it here in your room, but most of the time you will dismiss it because you're thinking like, ah, even if you click it, right? You're like, ah, it's probably like some lore stuff, right? Who cares, right? Uh, but I wanted to make a video talking about it because it's very important. You might think it's some lore, which it is also some lore. If you go to intelligence, it will just show you uh, materials that you collected during the story, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, prologue. You can even click the item and check it out, but this is not where it's at, okay? The good stuff appears when you go to proxy handbook, for example. It's going to refresh all of your knowledge. If you are unsure on how certain mechanic work, you can go here and check exactly, and they're all paired with a video. Uh, example so that's this is really really cool okay uh, you also you have everything every, anything enemy info panel energy and special attack days and chain attacks decibel dash and pairing dodge and dodge counters and all the anomaly build up what this anomaly what is impaired uh depending on which anomaly which monster is weak to what yeah so combat bang boo what did they do stuff like that you also can check about the stage gameplay the hollow exploration everything to know about the hollow uh neighborhood info like what happens in the uh, open world, it's not open world, but in your map, in your city, right? Uh, be, uh, stuff that you can do, facilities, uh, buildings that you can uh, that you can visit, how you progress the time system, what progress the time system, and what doesn't progress. So all of this information from the proxy handbook. Moving on, we have the Hollow Codex, which is the simulated universe, but it's also the TV system. So the TV system is called the Hollow, and if you don't know which icon meant what you can come back here and check click everything and it's going to tell you okay this means that you go to another level this means that it's a random encounter a surprise box this means that uh you uh, can you need to do s tier on the previous fight let's say uh to open this one this one is going to automatically push you this one is a press button this one is gonna push you to the right right so all of these items you can check what they do and this is where the Razonia collection is, which are all of the cards and exactly what they do, including what they do if catalyzed. Uh, so you can check, mix and match, click all of these categories and click them and check what they do. So you have a clear understanding if you want to know more about the simulated universe, which is called Holo Zero, uh, which is a roguelike mode where you uh, go around this TV system, uh, you pick up certain events so stuff happens it's very random and you get rewarded with multiple type of different items cards buffs stuff that you can buy there's a shop right so there's a lot of shit to do and i suggest that you check the workbench because there's a lot to learn from this okay this will this will skyrocket your knowledge of the game okay that's the holo codex and then we have the fade on archive which is an archive with all of the monsters that you encountered so far and those that you didn't unlock if you click it's going to tell you where you can find them in this case uh, you will find this monster in the withering gardens in the holo zero which is again the roguelike and you can do that you can do this with everything now when you know a monster you click and it's going to tell you exactly oh this guy is resistant to ice and weak to fire but the, the the robot is weak to electric but resistant to fire and ether so if you ether ether whatever so if you are fighting these guys you know that you're going to fight these guys then maybe change your change your your team or maybe go in knowing that you need to uh, try extra hard because you're using fire right so this is extremely important and so partner files is just uh, a place where you can check your trust and your intimacy with all the characters and if you missed or not some trust events you can check here all of the characters divided by their squad so cunning hairs bellabog industry obol squad and sixth street there's probably going to be way more like uh the the head the maids household Victoria, I think it's called housekeeping. Uh, those characters and then the police. There's going to be a lot of a lot more release, but it, this is what it is, right? So uh, again, really, really, really good place. Please do not 
uh, gloss over this, do not ignore it. If you need to know something about it, especially for the holo or especially for how basic mechanic works, uh, go here, okay? So whenever you see the workbench and you don't know something, go check on the workbench, okay? This was just like a little heads up video. Uh, it is the uh, close beta 3. So all of this might change, they may add more, we don't know, so keep that in mind. Uh, but if you want more videos, I suggest you subscribe to the channel because it's going to be a dedicated ZZZ, dedicated ZZZ uh, channel. So leave a like, subscribe for more video. I will bo be bombarding uh, the channel with videos prior to release so everybody can uh, understand as much as I can uh, the gameplay before release so we can all start by uh being in a, in a good in a good position okay so thank you for watching subscribe and like the channel if you want to watch me live playing the game maybe we'll do even some giveaway who knows uh I, you can find me live at twitch.tv forward slash jagazin okay so thank you for watching and see you next time